In this video, I'm going to show you how to add 2D lighting to your existing 2D game. Or if you right click in your hierarchy, go to light and you don't see these 2D lighting effect options. Or if you do see these options and they're not affecting your game. So imagine now this is your existing project, which currently has no options for 2D lighting on it. What we need to do is go window, package manager. In the tops where it says packages in project, we want to click on this and go unity registry. And in the search box, search for universal. RP. Then we'll click install. When that's done, we can close the package manager. And in our assets, I'm going to right click and go create rendering, which is all the way down the bottom and select URP asset with 2D renderer. We're going to name this URP and press enter. And you'll see this makes us a URP asset and a URP renderer. So now if we right click and go to light, you'll see we still don't have any of our 2D lighting effects here. So we need to go to our project settings up in edit project settings. And if you select quality in this list, you'll see we have no render pipeline asset. If you click the circle on the side of this, you'll be able to see our URP asset, which we can double click, press continue. And then if we close this off, now if we right click on our hierarchy, go to light, you'll see we now have our 2D lighting effects. I'm going to add a global light 2D, call this global light 2D, as this is going to be the light that affects our main scene. Now, if I turn this down, it should dim the light of all our sprites, but nothing changes. I'm going to leave this low. So when this does change, you'll be able to see it. But right now this isn't changing because our sprites have the wrong material on them and can't be affected by the lighting effects. So if I select our trees and in the sprite renderer for our trees object, we're going to create a new material to put in this slot. So in assets, I'm going to right click and go create material. I'm going to name this sprite lit. Then I'm going to go back to our tree sprite and drag in sprite lit into our material for our trees. You can see straight away they darken. If I add another light in our hierarchy, I'll right click and go light spotlight 2D. And I drag this over our trees. You can see this is now affecting our trees, but not our other two background images. So let me add the material on those two. Sprite lit, sprite lit. Up our radius on our spotlight. You can see this is affecting our whole scene now. If you already had materials on your sprites and weren't using the sprite default, you can go to window, rendering, render pipeline converter. In here, you'll see settings that you can tick and convert to be able to use our new universal rendering pipeline rather than the built in render pipeline. So here you just select whatever you want to change, select initialize converters, and then save and continue. I don't currently have any, but this should work for you and convert your assets if need be. If anything isn't working, still for you. If we go back to our project settings and edit project settings in our graphics setting, there's also a slot for the render pipeline asset. This isn't always needed for your project to work with 2D lighting, but this is my fail safe. So this might fix your problem. But cool, that's it. Hopefully now your project works with lots of different cool lighting effects. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.